what do you get when you mix one of the most powerful carrier aircraft on the planet with the most powerful aircraft carrier in history? You get an X-47 drone on the USS Gerald Ford. If the war between Israel and Hamas of Gaza isn't resolved soon, Hamas may soon find out just how lethal of a team this is. USS Gerald Ford is already around Hamas and ready to strike. All that is left now is its quick, agile, powerful fighter drone of a teammate, the Boeing X-47. The Boeing X-47 the development of the X-47 began with the Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems Program, or JUCAS program for short. The program from the early 2000s was a joint effort of the U.S. Navy and Air Force to build a formidable unmanned fighter. In 2006, the program was terminated. The Air Force opted for a new next-generation bomber while the Navy maintained its faith in a fighter drone and revived the JUCAS program in a new solo program called the UCAS-D. It was in this program that the X-47, which had already been put forward by Northrop Grumman in the JUCAS program, would take shape. A second iteration of the fighter drone was built for the UCAS-D program. This new iteration was the X-47B, a tailless jet-powered blended wing-body aircraft capable of semi-autonomous operation and aerial refueling. Being a naval drone, the X-47B must also deal with the ocean's corrosive saltwater environment, deck handling for launch and recovery, command and control system integration, and operation in an aircraft carrier's high electromagnetic interference environment. To achieve this, dollar numbers had to be high. The project was initially funded under a U.S. $635.8 million contract awarded by the Navy in 2007. By January 2012, the X-47B's total program cost had grown to an estimated $813 million. Government funding for the UCASD program was to run out at the end of September 2013. However, in June 2014, the Navy provided an additional $63 million for post-demonstration development of the X-47B. The Navy was ready to spend quite a boatload on the X-47 for good reason. It was to be a game-changer for the sea-based battles. For the Navy, the X-47 would be an unmanned combat air system that could penetrate protected airspace and identify targets for follow-on attacks. The attack could come from a more loaded aircraft or from the X-47 itself. Despite being primarily for reconnaissance, the X-47 features two weapon bays that enable it to carry up to 4,500 pounds of ordnance. And it's agile, too. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney F-100-220U turbofan, the X-47 has an almost supersonic cruise speed of Mach 0.9 a service ceiling of 42,000 feet, and an operational range of 2,400 miles. Led by Northrop Grumman, the X-47B was developed by an entire army of powerful subcontractors including Lockheed Martin, Pratt & Whitney, GKN Aerospace, Eaton, General Electric, UTC Aerospace Systems, Dell, Honeywell, Moog, Wind River, Parker Aerospace, Sargent Aerospace and Defense, and Rockwell Collins. The X-47B took to the skies for the first time in 2011. A second X-47B demonstrator conducted its maiden flight at Edwards Air Force Base later the same year. The two X-47Bs were initially planned to have a three-year test program with 50 tests. But they performed so well that they had passed in flying colors before all 50 tests could be conducted. They demonstrated carrier launches and recoveries, autonomous in-flight refueling, high-intensity electromagnetic interference capabilities, arrested landings, and catapult launches, among others. The X-47B also integrated perfectly with the Navy's aircraft carriers. On November 26, 2012, the drone began its carrier-based evaluation aboard the Nimitz-class carrier USS Harry S. Truman at Naval Station, Norfolk, Virginia. 
On the 18th of December 2012, it completed its first at-sea test phase and was remarked to have performed outstandingly, having proved compatible with the flight deck, hangar bays, and communication systems of an aircraft carrier. This is good news for the USS Gerald Ford protecting Israel at the moment. Once the X-47B is made into an operational, more powerful, stealthy, 10,000-pound ordnance-carrying fighter drone known as the X-47C, the supercarrier would be an even greater force than it is today. And it is already a great force indeed. One of the greatest forces in the world, as we'll now see. USS Gerald Ford 25% of the world's aircraft carriers belong to the U.S., and their total deck space is more than double that of all other nations combined. The leader of this massive American fleet of impressive aircraft carriers is the USS Gerald Ford. And here are some reasons why. Number 5. Nuclear Power Two Bechdel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use on water, power the USS Gerald Ford. As a result, the carrier would only need to be refueled once over its entire 50-year operational life as these engines make use of the everlasting nature of nuclear energy. This means USS Ford can run for 25 years at a time without refueling. And with a peak speed of around 30 knots, the supercarrier can access every country on the planet just in time to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on enemies. Number 4. AI and Automation The USS Ford is as intelligent as they come, with a balance of brute force and intelligence capabilities. It achieves this by exploiting artificial intelligence, particularly in the form of unmanned vehicles, which are, on their own, making a name for themselves. The automation of the carrier itself also comes into play, allowing for fewer crew members than expected for a ship this huge. And with fewer crew members on board comes more free space in the ship's hull to hold more systems weapons, and life enhancement features such as ergonomic spaces and gymnasiums, which ultimately results in a better quality of life for the 4,500 crew members. An important factor, seeing as a carrier can only be as agile as the crew that keeps her oiled up and ready for action. Number 3. New Sensors and Processing Systems USS Ford features the latest sensors, processors, and weapons needed on an aircraft carrier to maintain that balance of intelligence and lethality. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of the ANSPY-3 multifunction radar for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the US with enough versatility to handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. Number 2. American Fighter Jets and UAVs Up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, can call the USS Ford home at a time, including the Navy's favorite child the fifth-generation F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter, whose development program remains the most expensive weapons development program of the Pentagon to date, with a reported cost of $400 billion. The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do it all. Close air support, vertical takeoff and landing, and everything in between, cementing it as the modern go-to fighter for the Navy and every other military department. That is, until the sixth-generation FAXX fighter takes center stage, of course. And for when that happens, the USS Ford is already equipped with the technologies required to host, launch, and arrest it. Number 1. Advanced Launch, Arrest, and Elevator Systems an electromagnetic launch system catapults manned and unmanned aircraft to the sky in the shortest possible distance, and an arresting gear that saves them from becoming sea divers by grinding them to a sharp halt. 
An elevator system is responsible for swiftly moving aircraft and weapons within the carrier between lower and upper decks. The electromagnetic launch system on the USS Gerald Ford, developed by General Dynamics, is the most advanced in the world. Each of these $450 million systems can launch 4,100 aircraft before faults and packs 29% more power than its steam-based predecessor. The USS Gerald Ford has four of these electromagnetic launch systems. The arresting gear on the USS Gerald Ford is also the most advanced in the world. The $700 million system can handle 16,500 arrests before faults and executes its tasks far more effectively than its predecessor. The carrier has four of these arresting gears. The elevator system on the USS Gerald Ford is a $180 million system, packed complete with sensors and computerized controls that allows lightning quick movements around the gigantic ship. The carrier has 11 of these elevator systems. With such launch, arrest, and elevator systems at the ready in their numbers, the USS Gerald Ford can efficiently move, launch, and arrest the widest array of aircraft of any carrier in the world. So again, what do you get when you mix one of the most powerful carrier aircraft on the planet with the most powerful aircraft carrier in history? you get an X-47 drone on the USS Gerald Ford, a sight that Hamas must hope it never sees, at least not before the war is over. To bring the war to a best-case scenario end, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.